Okay, welcome back to the next video uh, of uh, my root tutorial. Today, <coughs> last time we saw how to create a graph. Now we want to go back to the creation of a histogram and fill this histogram with um, data from a data input file. So um, in order to make it easy, we just copy the first tutorial file that we created and now call it tut3 dot c uh, because we just uh, continue where we started in the first tutorial and now um, we open this and we can delete some parts which are not required for example this filling of the histogram that uh, we did before we can delete and we can or we have to rename the function from tut1 to to three, we can just test it one time whether it works, and I guess it shows now an empty histogram. And now we can create a data file. Let's call it just uh, data.txt. The name and the ending is not that much important, but it has to be an ASCII file. This is essential. So um, we can write then some values into this file. Let's suppose we wrote an examination and we have the grades of the students from one to six. Uh, I, I just put in some random, uh, random numbers basically. So let's suppose the first one has a grade three, the next one five, one, two, three, six, five, three, two, four, one, just some random numbers and uh, I hope at the end the distribution will be um, will look good. Uh, we can save this. We go back to our uh, root script and uh, now we want to read the data file and directly fill the data into the histogram. So um, first we uh, open a while loop and this should first of all run in principle up to infinity and the breaking condition we have to define later um, but before we write anything in the in the while loop we have to open the file and for this I just use the standard fstream class from uh, C++ and uh, I call it a file so here I write file open and then the file name data.txt and because we want to read the file in, we have to write iOS in. And uh, at the end, we can also close the file, just that we will not forget this. Um, so at the end, if we open it again, it will start again in the beginning of the file. And now we have to read it in uh, value by value. So um, <clears throat> I will start with file, then the extract operator and in a just variable let's call it value and this variable of course we have to define before in this case these are just integers but maybe in future we will also use double so it will not be harmful if we directly define a double variable so um, we read it in and uh, when the file reaches to the end we want to stop the while loop so we have to write if file.eof end of file is true then break the while loop and uh, yeah after reading every value during the while loop takes place or is, is running we have to fill the histogram with this value so we write hist fill value yeah this is in principle everything the rest of the code we can just uh, keep as it is. So maybe the X title we can change uh, to um, grade and the Y title to uh, entries. Now we will run it and hopefully it will give us uh, the right thing. Okay, you can see <coughs> the histogram is still defined from 0 to 100 with 100 bins and uh, the mean value should be correct, the standard deviation also, but of course uh, we, um, we want to start basically the histogram from one and we want to go up to six. So we have to change, <coughs> first of all, the number of bins because we have 
yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six pins we need. And now the limits are important. The, uh, the smallest grade that can appear is a one <coughs> and the highest one is a six. So in principle, we should write six here, but um, because the last pin is not included, we always have to write for the maximum value n plus one. So the highest amount plus one, and this is uh, six. So six plus one gives seven for the maximum value. And now if we run it again, we should see now exactly this distribution which we uh, which I inserted. So just for cross check, we can uh, verify this. Um, we see here for the grade one, we have two entries and here I wrote exactly one, two times the number one. Then for the grade two, we have four entries. So I have one, two, three, four times the grade two and so on. And this we can continue up to six. And of course you can use this for any other data which you uh, want to uh, add. You can, when you have a lab course and you measure data, you can insert this into a histogram. Later I will also show you how to insert this in a t-graph. And uh, then basically you are ready to do any kind of analysis whatsoever you want. If this was a Gaussian distribution, uh, then you could also make a fit. And this I will also explain you in one of the later videos. Huh? For the time being, I think uh, this is uh, quite a lot of information. Maybe you can try this with some other file which you create by yourself and uh, just play a little bit around, test some different histograms. And uh, then I hope we will meet soon again for the next video. Please stay tuned uh, and um, yeah, uh, see you next time.